Hey guys, this is Odron Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are back for the fusion on the free to play account. It is day number five, and everything is going just like I mentioned in a previous video pretty easy. Like, I am already what almost halfway through. I'm halfway through, guys. I already have 50 of the fragments because, like I said, everything looked pretty easy. So, I got all the 50 ones from the champion chase. 5 from the Dragon, 5 from the Classic Arena, I got all the 15 from the Champion Training, that's what, 30, 40, I got the Dungeon Diver ones already, and I got the Artifact Enhancement ones already. So like I said, as, as you've seen, I'm already 50 through, and it's honestly not as, not as hard, like, I, I, I seriously believe it was gonna be harder, like, that maybe I needed more energy, or I needed more silver, like, the silver was a little bit scary, but... I'm back up to 8 million, like after I used the, from the 19 million, I used like up to 6 million, so about 30 million silver to level up, and actually I, I even regeared Bivolt for that, like he actually looks decent and can smack now a little bit, plus he has the accuracy, I didn't 6 star ascend him yet because I'm keeping it for something else. I'm like keeping it for one of the progress missions. That's why, you know, I'm trying to combine as much as I can. You know, I always preach on the channel, double, triple, quadruple dip as much as you can. Since it's not extremely, extremely important, since I'm not desperate to have him already six star ascended, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to keep it. Like I said, there are progress missions that's going to require me to six star ascend a spirit, magic, force, and void champion. So one of the each affinities. Therefore, guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna save it for people, so I'm gonna save uh, Bivolt for the spirit one. I'm gonna save Mart for the magic one, because she's gonna be my next 6 star. Uh, I'm gonna use Deliana, because I don't have any other better option for champion that I, that I can see or think of right now that deserves to be 6 star. So since Deliana's a legendary, she's 5 star yet, I'm just gonna 6 star her. She's gonna be the, the void one, the force one, and for the void ones, I'm just gonna go and I think I'm gonna go with what's his name, Ragnar, because you know his kit is pretty good. I'm gonna I'm using him for the spy uh nether spider as well. I'm actually gonna book him as well because he's gonna be good uh, not just for uh in arena for me but for other areas of the game. But when we come back to the fusion, honestly, uh this seems to be like my Be the beginning of my group for for you know i was telling you in the first one on the on day number two of the of the fusion that the way that i always do these type of fusions the fragment ones if i can i always skip the summon rush get all of them from the champion chase because it's so much easier and i try to win or get second place in one of the tournaments and then if i get everything else from the milestones i have a hundred and i don't need to worry about it so basically, this is what I've already done for Ice Column. Like, I'm a little bit ahead, like what, 700 points ahead already, and I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I haven't used my gems, like I have close to 3,000 gems. Honestly, doing Ultra Nightmare does help me a lot, because look at this. I get Sacred Shards, I get Legendary Books, I get Ancient Shards, I get Void Shards, so you know, everything's good. Actually, wait, the Void Shard I actually got today from Arena Reset from my gold one chest i got this shard i think it was like 40 gems so thank you I, i'm happy with that but yeah getting the resources to help along the way is really really good one thing that i've also progressed for example by building bivold is i managed to pass the never spider i just manualed it i had a room keeper like you know i manualed him his cleanse i had a helicast hold his block damage for when I got to the boss and then I, I could easily beat it. I just had to manual it because, you know, I'm not gonna farm that boss. I just need to beat it once so I can uh, advance. My next issue that I have is Sorath, like the Frost Spider, because I don't have a HP burn champion yet. It's, it's a little bit of an issue, but guess what fusion is going on? Exactly, HP burn champion that can land HP burn without needing, uh, without Needing, needing accuracy. Soros is is known for needing a huge amount of accuracy. The higher you get to land the to land debuffs on it, but by bringing by bringing the fusion that has a resistible HP burn, guess what? I'm gonna be able to pass it. But up until then, I need to find a tactic or I need to use somebody for the HP burn that you know temporarily because I do not want to I do not want to invest resources into somebody that's just gonna be a faction champion or you know 
maybe food after that's all that's that's maybe like a little bit of piece of advice for you like if you know that you're gonna use somebody that's gonna help you along in in a certain place level them up use them but only till a certain level for example for me talia maybe i shouldn't have got her to five star i was desperate i guess at that point i needed to get someone to five star so i got her at five star i'm definitely not gonna get her at six star because she's not worth it say it again i got him to five star but he's better than talia in my opinion because guess what Sater i can use in faction wars for his terminator control and some people actually beat the boss by using by using Sator on 21 so he's definitely gonna be somebody that i'm going to keep but when it comes to the frost uh, uh, frost spider i have to think okay who's my hp burn champion i see that there's a kalia here that has hp burn on the a1 hp burn on the a3 and heal reduction on the a2 heal reduction doesn't help us with anything but maybe because of these HP burns, I could use her. So each hit plays HP bar for two turns. So basically I could use her as the HP burner or I have another one. I have Juliana that does HP burn here and poisons. But she needs too many books to that. So I guess I'm going to use for now. Maybe I'm going to try and put some gear on her. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to. Uh, what's it called? I'm not gonna six star her, I'm gonna try and, and uh, use her like this with the HP burn. But the problem that you also have with Frost Spiders, guess what? He removes he removes buffs and all the other craziness. But you know, let's keep this for another video. I might make a dedica dedicated videos for all the bosses on this account, like showing how I managed to beat it, how I managed to tackle it. But yeah, when it comes to the fusion, like I said, all's good. I mentioned that if I remember correctly, I mentioned in the previous video that I'm actually gonna finish this and <laughs> I'm gonna keep true to my word. Because they put the dungeon diver so well this time around to like coincide with the dragon and with the first day of the of the ice golem, that means I could double dip and look at this. Apart from getting the fragments, I move myself out of the way. So apart from getting the fragments over here, I can also I also got some silver. Also getting just shard plus a four star chicken. It's not a five star chicken, but you know, four star chicken still better than nothing. So if it's free rewards, because I already have to do the ice golem yes i'm gonna do it the artifact enhancement though i'm debating i don't think i'm going to push any further for this because these are two meh rewards and then then to get these two so for my level of account i don't really care about another one day xp boost and rank chart to make it worth it to push till the end so i think i'm just gonna stop here and it is what it is and save for the next one because honestly by the time i get to the next one i'm hoping i can finish this stupid arena one of getting like upgrading a great hall bones to level seven this is hard this is painful because look at this i have 479 in order to do this i need 700 so if i if i if i do the math i need to make 160 or like around 160 arena battles because for every battle that i do because i'm only in gold one obviously because i'm you know i don't have the champions so for every battle i do here i get only two points to two medals so that's you know up to to get to 300 that's 150 fights i'm trying to min max it as much as i can i definitely cannot get to like gold four gold five because you know it's hard but i'm gonna farm it as much as i can and i'm hoping like i said i'm hoping to progress the this the in the progress missions so i can advance to go to the next ones you know do dark cane ones do the spirit ones and all the other craziness because i'm trying trying hoping to do this by the what's it called by sunday because again i'm going to be stuck on sunday where i will have to do the void keep so you know the next time the for example arcane is always open then after arcane you have spirit next time spirit opens i think it's on thursday then magic opens on saturday force opens on friday and tuesday so it's like you know it kind of screws it over unless i would do all of this today which is impossible i think i'm not going to be able to do the the void ones on this Sunday so you know I might just I might just have to slowly relax on that one and just focus on other things maybe continue farming the masteries because I started farming the masteries for Mark since you know she's in my clan boss team might as well get her ready to get the war master as soon as I get her to six star which is gonna be look at this which is gonna be the next champion training for the fusion she's definitely gonna do more damage and it's gonna be that three key which i is secured for me if not even better after that i'm gonna get a new dps champion in there which i think is gonna be scabrius 
I need to pull out that, uh, Elhane from there because Elhane doesn't do, you know, she doesn't bring anything else. She just has raw damage. So my next option, my next thing is going to be bringing Scabrius. I already booked him, so I want to showcase Scabrius first before I start using maybe Anax in case Anax is better. But, you know, Scabrius can work. Why not? And I guess the advantage with Scabrius for my team is the fact that he brings the leech. Therefore, by having this leech, everybody's going to heal and this mastery is going to make sense. Otherwise, everybody loses a little bit of HP. And this doesn't, this mastery does not work anymore. But I have blabbered enough for 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 the this video. There's nothing too interesting. It looks like again we might just have some some you know some break days in the next few days. So I might just skip another day like I did yesterday. And I might not might not come on back on Tuesday. I might just come back on Wednesday with a with another video showing you what I'm focusing on. Because like I said, at the moment, what do we have? We have Ice Golem, Dungeon Divers that finishes tomorrow, and Artifact Enhancement that already finished. That's going on. Uh, apart from that, nothing. Like, look at this. We're going to even have Wednesday, Thursday, a break on events. Nothing here, which is kind of weird. Just kind of weird. But I guess it's, you know, might be easier for us to complete it. But this is it going to be for the video. hope you enjoyed it. I hope your fusion goes well. I hope you get this champion because... Like I said before, he's actually going to be good. Early, mid, late game, doesn't matter. He's going to be decent. Like, you know, if, even if you're end game, you you might already have better options, but he might help you for Hydra with the unresistible, with the unresistable HP burn because we do not know yet if his HP burn goes through the poison claws or not. If he does, if he does, then he's, you know, he's going to be amazing. He's going to be better than... than uh, other other HP born champions because there's only like two or three other ones that do that, which is Mordecai, Tumija, and I think Elder Skarg. If you have like if the if the target has two, three buffs or debuffs, like you know that that's how his kit works. But again, like I said, blabbered enough. See you in the next one, guys. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye.